Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the Rent It plugin. Now this is a really awesome plugin which allows your players to rent out shops which allow them to buy and sell items to other players. So I've got a couple of examples here. You can see uh, we have various NPCs. Um, let's go ahead and do forward slash rent it reload and hopefully that should reload my skin. There we go. So the cool thing about this plugin is it uses citizens and NPCs which will then show your player's skin. So if we were to right click him, it gives the option to either buy and sell items from the shop. Um, I've just added a couple to this one. You can see an iron sword and planks for 20 and $30 and then sell. This is items you want to buy off other players and that will be $10 for an apple. And then if I go out front, you can see there is a sign. Now, if I right click this, it gives us a few options. It tells us information about when the rent um, ends. It says if the rent is automatically paid and then the duration and the price. So if you want to manually extend it, you can click this button here or you can set it to active and you'll automatically pay rent um, every 30 minutes in this case, which would be $50. Over here, I've got a slightly different uh, setup. This is 10 minutes for $100. You can obviously set the price to whatever you want. And that will allow players to make a shop, earn a bit of money, but also pay a little bit of dues. So the other cool thing is doors. You can create doors which you can lock and close as an owner or open, in fact. So what we're going to do is show you how to set up a shop of our own. So the first thing we want to do is forward slash shop create category. Now, you want to create a category of shop that costs a certain amount and lasts a certain amount of time. Uh, so this is going to be called Category 4 and it's going to cost $50. It's going to have a few different rows, so make sure this is a multiple of 9, um, otherwise it will not work. So that's going to be 4 rows. And then how long do you want it to last for for $50? I'm going to put 20 minutes. And there we go. We have created Category 4. Once we've done that, we need to actually set the area. So the area is going to be just this inside section here. So I'm going to right click and left click with the world edit wand. If you don't know how to get that, it's forward slash forward slash wand and that will give you a wooden axe, like so. And once you've done that, you can do forward slash shop set area for area number four. And that's going to create ID number four. Once you've done that, you can set the NPC location. So I like to just do, go up a block uh, to make sure it doesn't go through the floor and do shop set NPC. Now you don't need to add the four on the end because it knows you're talking about shop ID number four. Once you've done that, you're almost finished. You need to pop down the sign on the top line. You do shop in square brackets. And then on the second line, you put the ID of the shop you just created, which is obviously four. Hit enter and it's going to automatically populate it. So it looks pretty nice. It says price is $50. It's going to last 20 minutes and the size is 36. Whereas this one, I believe is 18. And this one is only going to be nine. So it's only one row. Obviously, you probably pay more for the larger ones. And then once you've done that, all it takes is someone who wants to purchase it to right click, GUI pops up, it tells you the info about it. You can cancel the contract or accept the rent contract. Um, and apparently, I have too many shops. So if we want to delete a shop, we can just go inside of it and do forward slash shop delete. And that's going to delete shop ID number one. And there we go. So all we need to do is just reload the plugin and then attempt to buy it, which allows us to purchase another shop. Then if we go over to my NPC, we can see the shop is bare. It's got four rows full of nothing. So if we want to um, have items that we want other players to buy, we can do the four slash shop uh, sell item and then the amount we want to sell it for. So we can do this for a few different items uh, just to show you what it actually looks like. There we go. So if we go into the buy section now, we have these three items that other players can come up, right click and then purchase them. If we want to have items that other people sell to us, we need to make sure we have a chest within the shop. So that's where the items are going to go. And then we do the opposite command. We do the buy item. This is an item we're looking for and that's going to add it over here it stays in our inventory because obviously we want more of them uh, whereas if you notice the buy items it takes it from you um, stores it in the shop until someone would see purchase it and that is how you would add buy and sell items into the shop which is pretty cool the other thing we can do which i mentioned is doors so if we do shop door add and make sure you put the id of the shop on the end or and then we can do shop door open and if it's already open you can close it um, to prevent people from getting in uh, when you're not there. 
Now the other cool thing is if you're an admin, you can shift right click a sign of a shop and you can change the rent time, the rent price and the size. So here you could change it to uh, 18 for example. And if we go in here, we have now changed the size. It's only two rows as opposed to uh, four rows, which we just had. So that is how you would set it up in-game. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You just create the shop location and the category, and then you can just fill your NPC with those items you want to sell. So next, we're going to head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel. And as you can see, there's quite a few files, but most of them are actually just database files. So the only one you want to really look at is the config.yml. Up at the top here, you've got the database section if you want to add it to a MySQL database. Then you've got various options about the two different types of the plugin, so either the shop section or the hotel section. Now the hotel section is pretty straightforward, that's just allowing people to rent a room like you would normally rather than a shop like we showed in game. So you've got various things and permissions that you can tweak in here and how the signs look. If we scroll down, we've got some information about permissions and what is required to go through a door bypass, for example, or backup items or teleport. Then we've got loads of stuff to do with the GUI, so all of the uh, icons and then the slots they're in and then which uh, item it uses and the display name and the law. Obviously, you don't need to edit any of this. It looks pretty nice how it is, so I wouldn't recommend it. Right at the bottom, we've got all the messages. We've got the prefix and everything that's going to pop up in chat. Um, and then we've got all of the help commands which tell you uh, how to use the plugin effectively. So that's pretty much everything in the config. As I said, you really don't really need to be messing around with it. It's just kind of in-game. You want to be setting it up and using the commands. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.18. And if we scroll down, you can see here's all of the commands. And then we've got some permissions there as well. Um, there are dependencies, of course. If you use citizens, you can use those NPCs which we saw in-game. World Guard and World Edit as well, and then obviously Vault. Um, so I'd recommend all of those, quite frankly. So that is the plugin. Um, as you can see, it's a really well made and really in depth plugin that allows your players to rent their own shop systems and then sell their items. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.